A welcome also from my side to this co-conferencing session with the Enable Me Foundation. My name is Anna and I'm very happy to welcome our remote guests that will join this session today. Michael Lorz, the Managing Director of the Enable Me Foundation, who will join us directly from Switzerland today and Matthijs Nederveen, the Global Incubation Manager, who will talk to us directly from the Netherlands. The Enable Me Foundation supports people with disabilities. They are building a global community for exchange of information, best practices and for mutual support. The Zero Project partnership with Enable Me is built on the joint interest in innovation and digital solutions for persons with disabilities. Enable Me is providing a tool that will be interesting for many of our network partners, but also for all attendees who are joining today this conference. More details on this project will be revealed in this upcoming hour. Now, before I hand over to Michael Lorz to host this session, we will watch a short clip, uh, a short animation clip that will explain the concept of Enable Me. Thank you and enjoy. For big events in your life, you can prepare months or even years in advance. Exams, weddings, buying a house or expecting a child. But for some events, you don't have a second to prepare. They just happen and change your life forever. Like an accident or a chronic disease. Enable Me supports, connects, and empowers people with disabilities and their close ones globally. The online platform is a place to find information, help each other, and engage in a community. Here, you can inform yourself, learn new skills, find a job, or connect with people in the same situation. Enable Me. Together we grow. Hello, dear all, uh, my name is Michael Lords. I have the privilege to operationally lead the Enable Me Foundation. For those who are visually impaired, I have dark hair, brown eyes, and wear a blue shirt at the moment. And most of the time, I indeed have a smile on my face. It is an honor for me to welcome you all to this session. Let me introduce you to the founder of the foundation, My Handicap, and also the Enable Me Foundation, Joachim Schoss. He was interviewed by Noemi, who is working for impact management and project management at the foundation, My Handicap and Enable Me Foundation. Please see the pre-recorded interview now. So first of all, um, Joachim, uh, I want to thank you that you give us your time and that you have agreed to come to this interview to, uh, with me. The first question is My Handicap, founded 16 years ago. What has caused this motivation in you to found this extraordinary foundation? First of all, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, of course. And uh, yeah, about my handicap, uh, you know, I'm one of these persons with disability. Uh, whose life was changed within one second, uh, in my case by a traffic accident uh, um, that uh, happened to me some 18 years ago. And as soon as I was able, uh, after the accident, to uh, go online again, I uh, searched for disability processes, um, uh, reintegration, uh, things like that. And to my surprise, there was nothing on the internet, uh, which is really uh, special because the internet, of course, is a very uh, valuable tool for people with disability, even more valuable than for people without disability, because it is the, the access to life. It gives the opportunity to um, exchange uh, information, to, to join communities and so on. I had the professional experience uh, in building uh, online portals. I thought um, now I have these, let's say, two competencies of being 
uh, seriously disabled myself and knowing how to set up internet portal. Wonderful. So you've mentioned that it is um, part of living out the basics in life that, um, that we can have access in the internet and have access to exchange with people. What would you say, how, how has my handicap developed over the 16 years? What were um, the big milestones that my handicap has achieved? Yeah, so in the beginning, it was really about uh, gathering information for people with disabilities. And after a while, we realized that uh, there is now so much information that it's hard to get through. And so we added a forum, which allows uh, interested uh, users to ask a question. And over time, we have now stored over 100,000 answers. Um, so that when you ask more or less any question about disability, you, you will already find an answer. And if that is not satisfactory to you, you can uh, send your uh, question and it will be forwarded to experts, to peers who will answer that question. So the forum is one, one development we had. And then we've, we've done several things to support people with disabilities. For instance, um, a, a job platform and activities to motivate people out of unemployment back into work and I think we have done that in, in more than a thousand cases successfully. So-called ambassadors who were visiting uh, people with disability who just had an accident or, or that life-changing uh, event and, and the ambassadors visited uh, them in the hospitals to, to support them. Um, we, we have created maps um, about accessibility and so on. So, so we've done quite a lot of activities. Um, you've mentioned this wholesome approach. It's not only information, but also community exchange, job portals. When you think of the situation of persons with disabilities in the world that can vary hugely, what strikes you the most or what keeps you going the most? I know that in uh, some countries that we are going to now, there is a, a huge lack of information for people with disability. And that's what we try to heal um, with uh, our globalization efforts. By the way, we, we use the name Enable Me. So with Enable Me, um, we, we try to close that uh, uh, information deficit. Uh, I, I always see um, the, the person with disability probably less than a mile away from a place where there is help, um, maybe from a, a charity or maybe from the government. But that person, although it's so close to where the help is, has no idea that there is help and uh, may even be stigmatized, may, may be cut off from life because uh, if it's a child, the family is not able to um, support that child. And yeah, we, we hope to give just that little one information that may change the life of uh, such a person. So spreading information, would you say this is the overall vision of Enable Me? Or if I ask you, what would be the goal, the, the vision of Enable Me in a few sentences? We, we have um, now, now reached about uh, 10 million people in the German speaking region every year. And uh, there is about 1 billion people in the world affected by disability. And by the end of this decade, we want to offer our services to each and everyone who, who has a problem and who is affected by, by uh, a disability. Hopefully, at least the information services um, accessible in whatever language and uh, whatever the tools uh, are. So there will be different ways to, to distribute information um, and we also want to uh, create a lot of communities uh, of people to help each other to to uh, have this peer-to-peer -peer coaching which turned out to be very successful in uh, the German speaking region so far. What a vision, what a mission. Joachim, hereby I just want to thank you so much. Thank you for your work, for your enthusiastic way of going forward. One last point probably. Um, whoever is uh, watching this, um, it would be great if uh, you would like to see our services in your country and if you could support us in any way by networks, by funding, 
or uh, by uh, help directly, that would be highly appreciated because we cannot do it alone. We will need the help of many, many people to get this done. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Joachim, for your time. I hope you keep enjoying the nice weather in New Zealand compared to Switzerland, where all the snow is melting. And yeah, best of luck for all the future. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Same to you. Joachim sketched out our grand vision of providing access to information and community for all who are in need of it. We have prepared now two videos to explain on how the solution is working and how we are measuring that whether we and our partners actually have impact. In a nutshell, we will provide a digital solution to all partners that encapsulates 15 years of experience in managing information platforms. Our success is defined by you, by the success of the partner. So as Joachim says, it is a collaborative effort. And uh, now I invite you to first watch the video on our digital experience platform presented by our co-CIO Sandro Hirsch. And then right after this video, you will be watching the presentation from Kaya Landsberg, that is the global head of impact measurement at the Enable Me Foundation. Thank you. Hello, everybody. A warm welcome from myself to everybody listening from all over the world. My name is Sandro Hirsch, and I am the co-CIO of the Enable Me Foundation. I'm responsible for the sourcing and the development of the technology making up and surrounding our platform. I would like to give you now a short presentation of the platform technologies we use to build EnableMe and the reasons why we chose these technologies specifically. And I would like to start with our front-end design principles. There are three main focus areas I would like to talk about. First is accessibility. Considering our target group, accessibility is and is always going to be a development focus for EnableMe. On top of removing barriers for our users, a focus on accessibility also leads to more compatibility with devices and third-party assistive technology. The second design focus is a mobile-first responsive approach. As more and more people start accessing the internet over their mobile devices, we decided to develop with a mobile-first approach. Here, user centricity is the most important aspect, but also a focus on content that we wish to provide our users with. Lastly, we see search engine optimization as the third principle. From our long experience as a platform, we know that users need to find our content before they can use it. And search engine optimization is the most important aspect of the discoverability of our content. Now I would like to talk about the two technologies that we use to bring our platform to life. And first is PIMCore. PIMCore is an Austrian open source information management system that has several parts. One is a product information management system, which the name already implies, but also a digital asset management system and an e-commerce part. For us, the most important part is its content management functionality. We choose this for several reasons. First, uh, its multi-mandate capabilities. Secondly, uh, its scalability. So we wanted also something that is easy to launch new mandates in, but even easier to manage our already existing mandates out there. Third is its integration capabilities. We were looking for something that is API and data driven, but simultaneously feature rich and coming with several out-of-the-box solutions. We also needed something that is quite easy to use, specifically for non-technical editors. So we wanted a technology that we can minimize the complexity in. Lastly, um, security. We wanted to be fully GDPR compliant and have a quite thorough access rights management uh, system. 
The second technology that is making up our platform that is equally important as our um, content management system is our community management systems. And we chose Vanilla Forums. Vanilla is a Canadian company that provides the software and infrastructure for our global online community. Here I want to talk short about the features Vanilla provides us with. At its core is its forum functionality with several discussion types, um, rich content possibilities and groups people can form on various issues they want to engage with. Um, we also needed a um, quite powerful profile system uh, where people can send notifications, start private discussions and have different options for logins. Third is its ideation capabilities. So through Vanilla, we can crowdsource, crowdcreate and crowd innovate and involve our community in new ways. For an online community, moderation is highly important and Vanilla provides us with out of the box functionality to automate certain processes and help our moderators where needed. And lastly, it has a gamification system. So the possibility to set ranks or point systems and involve specifically our power users in new ways. So these are the technologies making up our platform and we use to deliver Enable Me to the world. I would be very glad to answer any questions in the following webinar or you can always contact me directly. I want to thank you very much for your attention and your time and I would like to now give back to the studio. Hey, my name is Kaya Landsberg. I am responsible for impact and measuring at Enable Me, and I'm very happy to present to you our path to impact in the following minutes. Prior to the launch of our new portal, we for the first time really engaged into an impact oriented way of setting up all we offer. And for the future, we will um, do everything we do in an impact oriented way. And with every new partner um, entering our network, we will, um, in, um, we will engage in this impact oriented strategy and dialogue. The first thing, of course, you have to do when talking about the impact you want to achieve is be aware of the global need and the problems you're facing and trying to address. Address. So we have come up with six challenges that, we'll be, that we will be facing with our way forward. We see a growing need and increasing importance due to the fact that 1 billion people at the moment are affected by disabilities and chronic diseases and that this will probably grow in the future due to the aging of populations. We see severe information gaps um, and asymmetries between the support needs and the support offering, especially in the developing world. Um, then as a third point, we see a lack of knowledge. Having a disability is very often connected with a social stigma and thus we need more information on disabilities and chronic diseases to reduce this stigma. Fourth, we see a poor distribution of information. We have many solutions out there, but we see that many organizations lack the competence to communicate what they do and distribute their information to make what they do publicly known. We see a lot of undiscovered potentials. Solutions have been found in very different settings and we haven't had the opportunity to learn from all the good practices around the world. So we see a major contribution in providing individuals, NPOs and governments across borders with these informations. And lastly, um, the web is still seen as the most effective and efficient channel to communicate across the globe. Um, but um, at the same time, not everyone has and finds the access they need. Our answer to these six challenges is a global solution. We can summarize it in the sentence, information and community are power. And thus our vision of enabling 1 billion people with disabilities worldwide through relevant information and community and um, to achieve this, we are enabling partners on the ground around the globe to 
um, set up easily accessible information portals, online communities and services on a global scale, as we are all um, faced of being some in some parts disabled, we can achieve an inclusive and empowered world only together. So for mapping and monitoring our successes, we have decided to go um, with the IOOI impact model, concentrating on the inputs. We um, invest the output um, on the platform, um, especially on the outcomes um, that are achieved with our stakeholders. And finally, the impact the inclusion and empowerment for 1 billion people um, with disabilities worldwide. In order to um, really push ourselves to focus on a couple of areas, we have concentrated on six impact goals for 2025. We really want to focus on uh, the first being we want to become the largest information portal and community for people with disabilities and chronic diseases globally. We want to have more than 1 mil 100 million users until 2025 and more than 1 million of them actively engage in our community annually. Um, we want to see that the majority of our users are developing um, and improving in one of the three following areas. Um, uh, growing their income and being self-dependent, um, being part really of um, an inclusive environment and having the possibility of self-expansion and expanding their knowledge. We want to provide 100,000 specific solutions annually and um, we are going to build an international learning network amongst our partners. Um, our aim is to see a worldwide growth and development in all these portals and in our community. For us, it is really important to link what we do to the social development goals of 2030, um, because it is a constant reminder to us that our work is part of a global endeavor and can only be accomplished if all those collaborations and partnerships work together in the same direction. Out of the 17 goals, we focus on these five, no poverty, good health and well-being, decent work and economic growth, reduced inequalities and the partnerships for these goals. How we do that, um, I'm happy to explain at a later point in time. Why do we measure impact? We invest a lot and a lot is invested in us and we deem it um, to be our um, um, responsibility to be fully transparent and accountable of what we do with these investments. We constantly want to learn and develop what we do. Therefore, we need to know where we are headed and be very diligent to um, see if we are reaching these aims. And last but not least, it gives us purpose and direction and will inform our strategy for the future in this endeavor. How we do what we do is um, we are only concentrating on really essential data. We will mix um, um, our um, sets. Um, we will regularly um, see, seek internal and external um, dashboards and feedbacks and conclude um, our um, informations from these. Last but not least, I have put together a learning cycle for you in the um, for one of our project areas. Um, this is how we build up the new community. First, we collected the data and then we tested it in an online survey. We did a results analysis um, and uh, developed standardized interviews based on this. And then we had these interviews, used those for the redesign, developed our new KPIs. We will launch and test very soon. And from then um, we restart the learning cycle. Together we grow. We are very happy if we can join forces in the future. Thank you very much.
We do take a very diligent approach on impact measurement in order to really understand where we can actually deliver a sweet spot of impact. Now, we, I invite you now to listen to Iram, who is sharing the, her understanding of Enable Me and how she applies it to Kenya. And then um, our global incubation manager, Matthias Niederben, will give you um, some insights on the benefits for partners and how to cooperate. Thanks for watching. Erin Bahawal is my name. I am the project lead for Enable Me Kenya in partnership with Life for the World and UDPK, United Disabled Persons of Kenya organization. I'm responsible for the launch of the online platform and online communities for persons with disability in Kenya. When I speak about Kenya, what comes to your mind? Wild animals, nature, there's so much to it. We are located in East Africa and our capital city is Nairobi, the only capital city with a national park in it. Total population is 52.57 million, according to the 2019 census. But the total number of persons with disability is approximately 1 million, something that's a bit debatable. Interesting fact is that the median age is 20 years. Just imagine how many people are at around the age of 20. What does that mean? We are technologically aware, we are more responsive, and something interesting is that the smartphone penetration is at 91%, the highest in Africa. This makes Kenya the perfect environment for smart tech-based solutions, and Enable Me is one of them. The disability movement in Kenya has come a long way. We have ratified the UNCRPD in 2018, and persons with disability are supported by different structures in Kenya. We have the government, which is the National Council of Persons with Disability. We have the DPOs. We have the UDPK, which is the Ambulance Organization for DPOs. And then we have other NGOs that also support. However, we have a long way to go. To understand this better, let's look at the scenario. We have John, 32 years, a man with a physical disability, living in an urban center, maybe somewhere in Nairobi, married with two children. He faced a lot of challenges while growing up. Um, he was never fully accepted by his parents like his other siblings, simply because of his disability. Um, he went through mainstream schooling initially, where he faced a lot of bullying and a lot of stigma around his disability. Nobody really accepted him, had no friends, and then eventually was put into a special school where he was excluded to a different, in a different level. There he was a bit more successful in terms of his academics, managed to finish high school, and also managed to get a diploma in welding. This is the current situation of John. He's struggling to earn a comfortable livelihood, and the major primary reason would be self-esteem. He's unemployed, does not know where to look for jobs, probably because of low self-esteem. He doesn't know what to do, where to find it. Um, he does not have his own business due to um, lack of financial capabilities, lack of knowledge on where to get financing, and also does not have the right skills to run his own business. Similar challenges are faced by majority of the persons with disability living in Kenya. Enable Me has come up with a tech solution to solve these challenges. In John's case, Enable Me will provide a platform for peer-to-peer -peer support. On this platform, he will interact with people like him and possibly people who have also made it out there. He'll network, possibly have mentors, and also seek inspiration from those who have made it out there. Aside from strengthening his self-esteem, John will be able to access loads of information on the platform on topics such as his disability, where he can access opportunities, maybe through the job portal, and also where to find different solutions for the challenges that he's currently facing, and overall to live a better life. John will also be able to access the different products and services that are accessible or inclusive to persons with disabilities. In addition to that, organizations that are interested to meaningfully engage with persons with disabilities, for example, advertise for tenders, or job opportunities, trainings, 
then Enable Me would be a great platform for them. With its wide reach of persons with disability, organizations can leverage on the invaluable insights by carrying out online service to, for persons with disabilities and also organizations that have allocated portions of their tenders specific to persons with disabilities, then Enable Me will be having a big directory of suppliers with disabilities on it that you can leverage on. Bringing information for change means changing lives for better. And that's exactly what Enable Me is doing for Kenya. Hello everyone, my name is Matthijs Nederveen and I'm working as Global Incubation Manager for Enable Me. Enable Me has invested in this tool for managing an online platform and online community for persons with a disability. And we are now providing this tool to partner organizations worldwide. I will present the opportunities for partners and the value that we are offering. Um, this, is our partnership. this is our partnership model. In every country, In every country we want to set up a platform with three components, information for the users, a community and services. The users can be people with disabilities, their family members, friends and other people interested in the topic of disability and the user needs are in the center. And in every country we will have a lead organization and we can have multiple partners that are providing and curating content on different topics for the users responding to their needs. We will also have community partners that are helping to mobilize the users and to manage the online community. And we will have service partners that are providing online services to the users. What can lead partners expect? Enable Me is providing this tool for managing the online platform and this will help the partners to develop an information portal with relevant and contextualized content for the users. They can create an online community and can directly interact with the members and they can also stimulate interaction between the members to create a peer support network. They create online services that can complement their programs and other services that they are offering. And this gives them the opportunity to develop new business models. What will, what will partners get? Partners get? You will get state-of-the-art state technology the for managing the portal. Partners will get, partners will get training, and training and mentoring from, from Enable Me, also based on my experience, experience in Germany and Switzerland. Germany and Switzerland. They, will they will get a set of tools for community, for community development, for impact measurement, and they will become a, and member, will become a member of the alliance of lead worldwide. partners worldwide. Then what are the responsibilities of lead partners? First is to curate localized information. Uh, second, is uh, second is to mobilize the users and manage the online community in your country. And if you're working, and if you're working with a consortium approach, then you will have to coordinate the consortium. Where Enable Me is providing the software solution, the local partner has to mobilize resources for in-country activities. And we, are also and we are also asking a financial contribution to the further development of the global portal. So if you are interested in a partnership, then please contact me via the email address mentioned or join our webinar this afternoon. In the chat you will find the exact time and the link. I'm very, much I'm very much looking forward to uh, continue, this continue this conversation with you.
So we see um, that um, we echo this. So in order to hear it twice, maybe we remember a little bit better. Um, for everyone who actually um, has more questions with regards to what we offer, we will indeed um, have a Q&A session, a more detailed Q&A session, um, also starting from one o'clock directly after this call. And um, I believe Michael is now moderating uh, first coming questions that might already pop up this moment. Yeah, thank you, Michael. So it's uh, Michael from Vienna, a little Michael mix up here. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy to, uh, to moderate this final part of this uh, session. I think you did an excellent job in presenting the Enable Me model and the Enable Me uh, expansion model. Also, congratulations to your uh, to your great goals of um, having some 100 million people involved in the next uh, years, and also have one million uh, people actively participating every year. So um, it, it's ambitious, but I know you people, and I know this is uh, this is realistic. Um, let me, but let me um, come in here with uh, with a few questions uh, that will come in from the chat, but also from me from me personally. So um, maybe just one really concrete example, uh, what, this, uh, what this platform will do and how this works. So imagine someone has an accident uh, in a country where Enable Me is, is working, um, has a special, in, uh, has a, uh, all of a sudden uh, some, some needs for support and so on. Uh, when I look at uh, the description of your platform, you have information, uh, you offer opportunities, you offer peer-to-peer -peer support. Could you give us a concrete example, maybe for someone who has a, an, an accident and needs, needs all of these things, what would this person get from uh, Enable Me? Yeah. Okay. No, thank you very much, Michael. Um, I think it really um, hits the nail on the head. Uh, so, in fact, about 95% of all disabilities are acquired during the course of a lifetime. So basically, um, we have seen what we have seen in the last 15 years. And of course, you can't compare an individual situation to another. However, what tends to happen when someone really acquires a disability, questions that are asked tend to center around similar topics. For example, how can I sustain financially? Can I actually still work? How about independent living? How about partnerships, sexuality, sports? Um, what to do when acquiring a disability? So, you know, for some people it's very hard to get this information. For some people, of course, they find it. But what we do is we have discovered the sweet spot that when the questions are similar, then basically we can already curate the information that serves the anticipated needs of those people. So for this person, first, information would be there. And second, um, what we have seen in the recent years is that there's a high likelihood and very high engagement of people who are more experienced with disabilities to share their solutions with others who may be just entering a disability or some um, new form. Um, and so basically what we believe and what we see in our impact model, what works is the combination of information and community together. So information opens up horizons and the community really can also trigger and motivate even to um, engage more and discover and really create, move a meter to action. So when I, uh, so, so the concrete example is the information and that's the community and both together support the person in uncovering new um, you know, horizons and opportunities. Okay, uh, Michael, just one more question to clarify, then I would move on to the next topic. Is there any uh, definition of disability in the Enable Me system or does it basically offer support to people with all kinds of disabilities? Yes, we want, um, we always ask, hey, what is our uh, focus area? And um, we actually actually want to be as uh, wide and uh, to, to really have the breadth of all disability or forms of disability that are actually possible. 
Um, so yes, uh, we would like to have an approach that is really all encompassing, because um, you know we can learn a lot from different you know types of disabilities, and sometimes even the symptoms or what happens um, is very similar to another type of disability. So having the broad perspective is uh, what we want to um, engage and envision. Okay, um, thank you, Michael. So I think the next um, important question is uh, about your about your next steps. So you you built uh, a model that works in Switzerland and in Germany. You built an enormous technology base. Um, you built the model to scale. You found your first partner, your first lead organization in Kenya, and you are now looking for more partners. No? Uh, so um, you have an enormous um, crowd here. Uh, participating in the Zero Project Conference. Uh, so uh, who are the, the, the organizations that you're looking for? They have to bring something to the table. Could you describe this a little more? What these organizations would, uh, would, would have to bring with them so that they're a good partner to start a conversation of being a, I think you look in art at this stage, at lead organizations. And so what, what would lead organizations need? First of all, maybe um, in a nutshell, the service and the value offering is um, so we en encapsulate 15 years of experience in managing information portals and communities. We have done that in Switzerland and Germany. We have extracted all the learnings that we could extract to a global level and worked out now a, a software that is you can implement and easy implement in, in different countries. So ultimately what we do is we provide a whole package ensure success for everyone or for every disability um, organization that actually wants to engage in information provision and community building with uh, people with disabilities. Um, so what are we looking for? So we have different modes that we are uh, trying to experiment for and where we actually engage in. That's first of all um, organizations that have a very strong entrepreneurial drive and say they see the value in information, they have a sp specific um, expertise that they want to contribute to Enable Me platform. The second type is the type of disability association that really covers a very uh, wide spectrum of information in different sections. The third would be international NGOs that want to publicize and share the information um, in their respective um, area of operation, that could be you know, a very large uh, NGO operating in many countries um, where we could you know, enable this NGO um, in different countries. And then um, we would also like to think about cooperating with um, NGOs or knowledge-based um, partners that have specific knowledge that they would like to make accessible to, um, the, to the people with disabilities. Because what we aim for is also, of course, the reach. And um, what we can offer as well is, you know, the international learning network between one country and the other. Okay, um, so thank you. I think that was quite clear. I think in, in practice this means if, if, if someone uh, approaches you, uh, then you will start a discussion uh, about how if both of you would fit together. No? Uh, any any regional limitations currently? Are you having some focus areas in mind, or the whole world is welcome at this stage? Mm -hmm. Is that is that? Maybe Matthias, do, do you want to contribute to that? Yeah, I can answer. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to be here. I hope you can see me now. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the presentations. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in partnering with us, you can uh, already uh, type your questions in the chat and we will also continue in the, during the webinar at, uh, at 1 p.m. Uh, the, the link is also in the chat. Um, so to answer your question, Michael, um, we don't have geographical limitations. We have a, a global platform and the, we are also multilingual. So we can even provide for um, uh, room for communities of people that, that uh, chat uh, and, and uh, interact in their own language, in the local language. Mm, so yeah, we are open for partners around the world. Mm -hmm. So what our, uh, yeah, one of the, 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 the first step in exploration is to see 
to develop a common vision for a country, how can we develop a platform for people with disabilities and an online community where people can support each other in your, your country? And uh, how can we build that together? And how can the Enable Me platform support that? So that's what the, the questions that we will uh, try to answer together if you are interested as a partner. Um, there, there's also a question from the chat uh, about uh, about the financials, about licensing fees, without going into any details, uh, what would be the financial cooperation be about? Is this about licensing fees? Uh, is this not about licensing fees? Is, is, who is paying who for what, basically? Or is this also open to the discussion when you start, a, a concrete, uh, start concrete talks? So we have invested in this uh, um, tool, the software solution for managing the content and managing the online platform. And that's an investment made by Enable Me, and we won't charge for that. Um, so that's a pre-investment from a non-profit uh, foundation. Um, we have running costs uh, for um, maintenance and for onboarding of partners and for um, guiding partners on developing their strategies and their impact models. So there, there are costs related to that. Um, and we uh, ask a contribution from our, our partners. Mm -hmm. We have a special... Um, arrangements for organizations in uh, low-income countries and we can also do fundraising together so we will also um, take that up in uh, the first dialogue with partners mm -hmm. okay um, next questions will be about your uh, roughly about your timetable so uh, we are now in february 2021 could you give us some milestones about uh, uh, what will happen when uh, in uh, rolling out uh, the enable me uh, worldwide network yeah, the yes. first, uh, uh, Michael, are you going? Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead. No. The first launch will be in Kenya. That will be very soon. That will be at the end of this month. So then we will have the website up and running with uh, different articles, content, and with the community. Uh, and then it will take another two months for us to migrate um, all the users and the data from the uh, old platforms in uh, Kenya, or in, sorry, in Switzerland and Germany. Uh, so we will launch in those countries in April. And after that, we, will, we are open to onboarding um, uh, new partners and new countries. We are, I have already started collaboration with the Karuna Foundation in Nepal, so they will also come soon. And we have started a dialogue with partners in India and Uganda. Um, yeah, so that's uh, th th those will come the first half of uh, this year. Uh, wonderful. There was one more question before I'm asking about, uh, I will announce, co-announce this, uh, this uh, uh, private uh, session that you uh, that you will have in, uh, in, in at one o'clock. So there, there's a question more directly uh, towards what kind of partners you're looking for. Uh, would you look for a special track record of an organization that they can prove something uh, that they've worked in this field or what, what would be your first uh, questions yeah. uh, to ask if, if someone approaches you? Yeah, so what well, is very important that an organization has a wide reach towards people with disabilities. So preferably uh, covering yeah, most disability types. So that could be an umbrella organization. Um, then of course we, will, we also ask some affinity with um, IT and digital solutions and an entrepreneurial mindset. Because this is a new, new tool and organizations can provide their services on the platform. Uh, so that need, also needs a kind of a business thinking, eh? how, to, how to market your, uh, your services and how to mobilize the users and how to activate them. Um, and then our ideal situation is that there's a, a consortium approach because there are so many organizations in each country, uh, some covering a specific disability type, some covering a um, specific thematic area, some focusing on employment or uh, not to forget the children with disabilities and their parents. 
So ideally, there is a consortium approach where different organizations contribute with content and with um, community management and with provision of online services, but also linked to their offline services. Um, so um, we are looking for a strong partner that can also lead such a consortium that's not working independently, but that can that's able to coordinate and bring all the partners together and um, and, and and work in uh, in collaboration and synergy. Thank you, Matthijs, and uh, also Mike. I think it was pretty clear now uh, what kind of uh, lead organizations you would be looking for. Uh, now let's finish uh, this. Uh, interesting session with a concrete call to action. Uh, so those uh, in the community, those uh, people that uh, have now watched uh, this, uh, this, this uh, presentation of the Enable Me strategy uh, can now join uh, a link that you have shared already or you will share uh, in the chat and you can have your, your private conversation and, and start a conversation on if, if you might fit together. Uh, maybe Matthijs and Michael, you, you make a more concrete announcement what uh, organizations that join and click on that link uh, will expect. Yeah, what they can expect is uh, further interaction. Uh, so uh, it's now time to raise your questions about the technology or about the partnership, how a possible partnership could look like. This is done in the, um, in, in the group, and if that raises your, uh, your interest, then we can continue with bilateral uh, conversations. Okay. So any, also, any organization that's interested now in this, in this solution and building an uh, online community in their country is welcome uh, to, the, to, to join the webinar. Yeah. And also the CIO, the co-CIO, Sandro, and uh, Kaya Landsberg for impact measurement are joining. So really, whatever question you have, please join next session and uh, we will try to find the right answers for you. Mm -hmm. It's now the best time to talk. <laughs> okay, thank you. So that was very clear, very encouraging. So please, uh, if you're interested, click on, on the Enable Me uh, private session link and then follow up the direct conversation with uh, Matthias and Michael. Um, if you, for example, see this later, because we'll have this whole session also on the uh, on the platform for one more week, and we will have it uh, also on the Zero Project uh, Web TV streaming platform in, in about two weeks. Uh, you will be able to follow this conversation com uh, again, and of course, you can always get in touch uh, with Emil Me anytime. Uh, all the, uh, the the contact details are will will be also in in that session. With that, uh, thank you, uh, our great partners from Enable Me. Uh, it was a, a great pleasure and uh, also a, a great content and impact that you brought to the Zero Project Conference. We wish you all the luck with uh, in this year with uh, your great rollout of, of Enable Me. And with that, I'm closing this session. Thank you. <laughs>